This here is the last of my three Gary Fisher mountain bikes. I used to have one of the first uh, 29ers. I think this was in the early 2000s. And a, um, a fully suspended uh, Gary Fisher Sugar mountain bike. Anyway, it's time to admit that I will probably never be fit enough to uh, start mountain biking again. So I better sell this thing. It has grip shifts and uh, 24 speeds. Uh, SRAM. It has uh, uh, V brakes and it needs a new uh, grip. The hubs are from Shimano Deor and uh, they were rebuilt by me a few times because I used to use these wheels in the winter. The brake surfaces on the uh, rims has been used because these uh, wheels used to be on my other bicycle but they should still be good for many more miles. The spokes are stainless and I will remove these uh, cobwebs when I sell the bicycle. The tires are from Tioga, non-fundable ones with nice and uh, good knobs. They should uh, still be good for many more miles. Although they are relatively heavy if you ask me. All of the decals on the fork are gone so I have no idea what brand this is. Well the brand is probably money too but I don't know what type it is. There's no rust here so that's good. It's actually still a bit uh, oily. It's not a great fork but it works. It definitely isn't suspended by air. The saddle is still undamaged although there's some bird shit on here. Uh, it's from Cordo and the lettering has uh, faded a bit because I used the saddle for a few years. And I believe it is a uh, women saddle because it has this slit in the middle. Not sure if that is true. It certainly isn't uh, very wide and it was sitting rather comfortable because it is uh, well padded. It has a relatively small frame and it is sloping as you can see. The uh, seat post is a long one so the bicycle will be uh, suitable for uh, small children and larger grown-up men or women. But I'm not too big or too uh, tall I'm only 174 so it's a it's a relatively small bicycle for me but I like uh, a nimble bicycle I guess uh, that's why I didn't like that uh, 29er with its big heavy wheels. Although at the time there weren't uh, a lot of different uh, tires available. The front derailleur is, uh, is an SRAM X-Gen and that's a perfectly fine derailleur. And this here is a triple chainring. The rear derailleur is an uh, X-7 from SRAM and it uh, was in a few accidents because it's not original for this bicycle, it's also not new, but I did replace the uh, joggy wheels, the uh, chain is also new, and the uh, cassette is also still brand new, because I never got uh, to use this bicycle a whole lot after I built it. Health issues, you know. The bicycle has uh, V brakes from an unknown uh, brand name, but they should uh, work fine and the uh, brake pads still look okay. All of these uh, cables, both uh, inner and outer ones, and these are stainless of course, uh, have been uh, replaced when I built this bicycle. And they, uh, they never saw much use, definitely no winter use. I think this crankset is one of the few original parts on this Gary Fisher tarpon bicycle. It should be possible to lower the uh, handlebar by removing these uh, spacers or you could also flip this uh, front stem, whatever you like. I guess that's all I have to say about this uh, Gary Fisher tarpon bicycle. Now I'm going to get the uh, pressure cleaner and uh, remove all of the uh, cobwebs so I can make some decent pictures for on uh, eBay or on Marktplatz. 
because that is the uh, main selling site on the Netherlands. All right, let's start cleaning. Oh, and that white stuff there, that's no snow. Nor is it uh, cocaine, because that, that would be a shame. It's just the salt to keep the uh, weights at bay. And of course, I will not uh, pressure wash too much on, uh, on the bearings or on the fork. But when you use a mountain bike like this in the winter, in the wet, in this country, at some point you will have to rebuild the uh, bearings or the cups and cones. Well, I think that's clean enough. The rest I will have to do with some soapy water. So. All right, that's it. I'll let this uh, dry in the sun for a bit and later I'll spray on some WD-40. And I guess that's it for me. Like, subscribe, share, yada, yada, yada. Do whatever uh, makes this uh, channel great. Till next time.